Hey guys, so if you follow me for locks, you may remember that when I first locked my hair, I did a video titled, I hate my locks. Surprisingly, it's one of my most watched videos. I think it has like a few thousand views. Um, and that was just me being completely open and honest and transparent about how I felt about my hair. Now, at almost three years locked, I finally love my hair. I think the, the size I got my locks was the perfect size for me. I love them. I love the color of my locks. I love the texture of my locks. I love how they shine. I love how they feel. I love my hair. I fucking love my hair. Um, and I'm gonna share with you guys how I got to this point because I see a lot of videos where women say they hate their hair, they hate this, and maybe my experience would help you guys. I think the only reason my hair was able to survive is because I stopped listening to everybody. I, I cut out all the noise. I just cut out all the noise. I stopped listening to all the lock gurus who felt like the regimen that they did for their hair is the regimen that I had to do for mine. And I think a lot of times people who do that mean well, but they not taking into consideration that everybody has different types of hair. I don't care about that 4A and 3B stuff. Everybody just flat out has different type of hair. Some people hair is thick, like super thick. Some people has very thin hair. Some people has curly hair. Some people has more straight hair. So if your hair is super thick and my hair isn't that thick, whatever regimen you use for you, it's not gonna work for me and, and that's okay. And what was getting me was a lot of people was trying to force me to believe that that's not okay when it's actually okay. Um, I had people telling me I had to use beeswax. My hair absolutely hated beeswax. Beeswax on my hair worked as a glue. It was it was sticky and it was caked up. It was, oh, it was so gross. After maybe two days, the beeswax was just it was a sticky mess. If it was humid outside, I live in Merlin. Summertime is very humid. If it was humid outside, it was kind of like the beeswax would kind of like melt. It was horrible. Some people told me to use the brown glue, not glue, the brown gel. My hair hated it. It was just like flaky and just brown. Just It looked like brown scabs on my hair, but it was really just gel. My hair hated that. People said I had to use coconut oil. I believe I may be allergic to coconut oil um, because whenever I've put coconut oil in my hair, I get a lot of pus bumps in my hair. Sometimes they be more right here, be in the middle of the hair, in my back of my hair. And I don't know that they're until I go to scratch my hair and I run right over one and I will feel it and I will hear it pop. So I'm assuming that I'm allergic to coconut oil. So that does not work for my hair. Some people who said you have to use castor oil, the regular castor oil. I've tried it. You know what happens to me? Castor oil burns my scalp. It burns my forehead. It, it literally, my scalp literally looks burnt. None of that worked for me. Um, a lot of people in the, the law community say you have to use sulfur-free shampoo or you have to use Suave. My hair don't feel clean with any of that. So none of that worked for me. So if any of, none of that stuff worked for me, what is left for me? What can I do for my hair? So I just figured I was natural for maybe 10 years before I locked my hair. And the things I did with my hair for those 10 years, my hair absolutely loved. So although I'm locked, maybe I should do the same thing. So this is what I do. When it comes to retwisting my hair, um, when I first locked my hair, I was retwisting a lot. As the result, I made a couple of my locks thin. I have two thin locks that ev eventually broke. I have this one that I am relocking let me see if you can see it that one it broke 
And I have oh, 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 this one. These are the only two locks that I've lost, so I'm proud of that. Um, so I don't retwist every week or every two weeks. I probably retwist my hair once every other month. My hair loves water. So unlike some people who say you only supposed to wash your hair once a month, I wash my hair whenever the hell I feel like it. Sometimes it's twice a month, sometimes it's twice a week. If I'm in the gym and I'm sweaty a lot, I'ma wash my hair. That's just how I am. Guess what? My hair loves it. The shampoo that works great on my locks is Coconut Milk by Organics. I'm gonna link all of the products that I use below. My hair loves that shampoo. It's a little pricey, it's about $10 a bottle, but it works. My hair loves the conditioner. Yes, I condition my hair. A lot of lock gurus say, don't condition your hair. It's gonna get caked up. Yeah, it will get caked up if you don't rinse it out. <laughs> my hair loves conditioner. So when it comes to my hair and washing, I typically use coconut organics, coconut milk by organics, or I use the honey line by Cream of Nature. My hair feeds and thrives off of that stuff. My hair loves it. And ever since I started using those shampoos, my hair has become stronger. They're shinier. Um, my hair has grown tremendously. This is my longest lock. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I'm so proud of it. Um, but my hair loves that. When it comes to oils, I use almond oil on my hair and I use mango castor oil. And a lot of people say, oh, if it's got a, a smell to it, that's not real castor oil. Okay, sis, and what if it's not? Guess what? My hair isn't breaking out. My hair isn't burning, so I'm going to use it, and my hair loves it. My hair is strong, and it's shiny, and it's healthy because of those shampoos I use and those two essential oils that I use on my hair. Um, I do use a moisturizer in my hair. I use a moisturizer. It's like a creamy moisturizer by Carol's Daughter. I know I'm about to have some lock gurus like, oh my God, you're not supposed to put anything creamy in your hair. Girl, bye. My your business. This is mine. <laughs> okay. I use Carol's Daughter Moisturizer in my hair whenever I'm in between a retwist, uh, you know, and my roots done grown out. I put a little in my hand, girl, rub it in them roots, get all in there. And guess what? It's no residue. You know why? Because I massages it all the way in. <laughs> my hair loves that, so I use that. And when I do retwist my hair, my go-to retwist um, gel is by Talid Wahi. Uh, I believe I'm saying her name right. My hair loves that stuff. When I retwist my hair with that, it lasts so much longer. I'm talking about... My retwist will look fresh for maybe a month. I love those things. So for me, Cream of Nature Honey Line, Mango Castor Oil, Carol's Daughter Moisturizer, Almond Oiled, and Talid Wahi. Those are the lifelines to my locks. And ever since I started using those products on my hair and nothing else, my hair has grown. My hair has gotten stronger. I haven't received any breakage. Um, when I retwist, I'm not having like hair in a comb or anything. I'm at a great place with my hair and I'm at this place solely because I chose to do me. So when you're in that lock phase, the beginning of your lock phase, I'm not going to say the first three months because your hair isn't locked yet, but maybe I would say between month four and seven, this is a time to play with your hair and figure out what works for you. Because what works for other people, it may not work for you. That doesn't mean that they're doing it wrong. That just means it's not the right thing for your hair. So until next time, bye guys.